Charles specifically calls Meghan tungsten. The king's hidden meaning is controversial. Hello, friends. Welcome to the breaking news of the day about the notorious hypocritical couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. A recently discovered new royal nickname for Meghan has caused a great deal of controversy. King Charles III especially gave his daughter-in-law the name Tungsten, with many deep connotations. Meghan Markle is reportedly one of several members of the royal family who has nicknames within the firm. It has been revealed that King Charles III has a loving nickname for his daughter-in-law. A new book claims that the Duchess of Sussex is referred to by the next king as Tungsten. The hardest metal of all the metallic elements, tungsten, is a steel-gray hardness. King Charles is said to have given the Duchess this nickname because of her tenacity. The Duchess's peculiar moniker was made public by royal authority Katie Nichol in her book The New Royals, Queen Elizabeth's Legacy and the Future of the Crown. She stated in the book that because of Charles's future daughter-in-law's tenacity and fortitude, she was given the nickname Tungsten. The moniker, according to Ms. Nichol, was given to her in 2018 when she appeared at the Royal Foundation Forum with Prince Harry, Prince William, and Kate Middleton and displayed resiliency. She penned. One of their aides claimed that was the time when Kate who was significantly pregnant, and William recognized they needed to step up their game. The Cambridges, now the Prince and Princess of Wales, had previously made it clear that they didn't want to be merely ornamental royals, and they and Harry had made a big success of their Heads Together mental health initiative. She claimed that Meghan was charming, well-spoken, and enthusiastic about the job she discussed throughout the presentation. But Meghan was the group's breakthrough star, Ms. Nichol said. She presented her case with all of her TV-honed abilities and was professional, impassioned, and humorous. According to a source, William and Kate had a wake-up moment when they realized Meghan was extremely remarkable, very self-assured, and very capable. Responding to the comments of Ms. Nichol, an analyst asserts that the nickname that Charles gave Meghan carries a different meaning. We can't call Meghan a tough person when she's constantly crying and whining in the media. Meghan is as tough as Tungsten. She was crying on Oprah, saying that nobody taught her the national anthem and that she had to Google it herself and learn it herself. What a poor damsel in distress left to her own devices. She complained that nobody asked her if she was okay with the backdrop of third world Africa. What a poor damsel in distress who needed coddling like a baby from everyone but was sadly ignored. Megan said Catherine made her cry out of disagreement with flower girls dresses and that really hurt her feeling. What a poor damsel who cries at the drop of a hat Megan needs to decide if she's going to portray the image of a strong, independent woman like Tungsten or a damsel in distress who was only surviving and not thriving. What a confused woman by her own porkies and tall tales that she does not know who she really is. There are many viewers who agree with this series of expert analyses. A representative said, he may have nicknamed her Tungsten, but I'm sure it was not meant as a compliment. A human cannot be inflexible cold metal. That is royal speak for she is arrogant and self-opinionated. And I do remember him saying, I hope he doesn't marry her. A human is a fluid, compassionate being. We need to be to adjust to the changing life situations and get along with each other. To forgive, accommodate, and have concerns for others. Imagine if each one of us was a cold, soulless, heartless piece of metal. Actually, no need to imagine. Just look at her as an example. Another commented harshly. First of all, I would not consider Tungsten to be an affectionate nickname. Far from it. Next, 
She is exactly the opposite of the standout star of the show. The thought that the Prince and Princess of Wales felt they had to up their game to match the achievements of the Z-list cable actress is the funniest thing I have ever heard. Absolutely hilarious. Not tungsten, should be Teflon, one person suggested. Should have been Teflon, as whatever she does or says, it's like water off of a duck back to the rest of us. She also seems to wriggle out of the consequences, hence the non-stick reference. Dumbass who has low morals and would do anything for money. Someone who is loud and brash and just sounds like a loon addict when they talk. Has a very low IQ and is probably the dumbest person in the group. Tough and resilient, Megan is the loudest woman I've ever known. She often makes herself a victim in any situation. She used to say, they didn't support me. They said I had to carry on when Archie didn't nearly get burned to death. They took my passport for from so apart from various holidays abroad and a totally vulgar baby shower in NYC. I never went anywhere. Even though I married into an extremely wealthy family, I wanted to go on the scrounge for presents wherever I could. It's a good thing when I'm tough or resilient, or I might have had a breakdown. If Charles had really thought Tungsten was a good fit for Meghan because they were both tough and resilient, royal fans have come up with another theory. I doubt it was a nickname at all. More probably, a quiet comment at a time before her wedding, when everyone still hoped for Harry and Meghan's future happiness, and when toughness and resilience would indicate she had the kind of stamina required to become a working member of the royal family. Plus, she never intended to be a team player. Royal fans never accepted the fact that Charles got along with Meghan Markle. It's unclear what the nickname Charles gave Meghan means, but it would be a travesty if King Charles gives the children prince and princess titles. Let's be honest here. Why do they want them? To monetize them is the most likely reason, and to try and get them internationally protected person status because of having titles. Other royals don't have that when they are not working royals. It would be nonsense for them to be called prince and princess. I will really admire Charles if he sticks to his guns. Why on earth should they have the satisfaction of titles when they gave that dreadful interview and have slated and undermined the royal family ever since? causing misery to his grandparents in their final months. No titles. If anything, Harry and his children should be removed from the line of succession, especially if the Netflix show is nasty. No more chances. It is also suspected that Meghan's PR team tampered with some of the articles to cover up the implications of King Charles III. These orchestrated events are for PR. You know what Meghan is like, don't you? Her whole life is a facade, fake, froth, and a bubble with no substance. What do you think of Meghan Markle's controversial nickname? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.